guys, I'm back to make another video. So this is going to be my review of the two new Jeffree Star highlighters that I just got in the mail. Deep Freeze has been out for a while, but the one that everyone is talking about is Onyx Eyes. Obviously there has been tons and tons of people talking about this. I don't know, there's probably tons of videos by now also. Um, but I wanted to review them for you guys just because I have like sworn by some of Jeffree Star's products and I just figured, I asked on Snapchat again if you guys wanted to see a video because I did like a tiny little unboxing when I got them in the mail and like loads of you were like, yes, please do a review, yes, 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 so here, here we go. <laughs> I'll do Onyx Ice first simply because it's again the one that everyone's talking about um, just because it is quite different to the review. These highlighters will run you $29 each, but they are huge, huge. People in my class at, in uh, college, I brought in Ice Cold because it's like the highlighter I like, live and die by. Like I wear it literally every day over top of other highlighters all the time. Um, they're all shocked by how big it is because it's really like, these are huge. Like, okay, like you see my, like this is my hand, okay? Like this is like the size of my palm for a highlighter. It's bigger than my palm. People think that $29 is a lot for highlighter. Drugstore wise, it's a lot of money, but as soon as you walk into Sephora, there are so many highlighters there that are so much more expensive and so just not as good in my opinion. They're just really not as good. If you want that full, like, fledged, like, highlighted, like, you can see my highlighter from five miles away, Jeffree Star's highlighters, from what I have found, truly are the best. If you want a more, like, subtle highlight that you can't tell as much, Sephora is great for that. There's lots of highlighters there that are great. Um, even drugstore ones are okay, but if you truly want that over-the-top highlighted look, his products have never let me down. His highlighters, Ice Cold has never ever failed me. <laughs> so, on to Onyx Ice. This is what it looks like in the pan with the beautiful Jefferson logo on it. I've only touched the corner here because I hate ruining the label in the middle. Um, so I was like trying to like, work around the label and then just like when worse comes to worse, we'll touch the label. I'm gonna do a swatch right here on my arm for you guys with a brush so you can see the glitter in the shadow or in the highlighter. I'll put it on my face as well here, but here's the thing. This is what everyone's wondering. They're like, is this actually wearable? Can you actually wear this? In all perfect honesty, you can't. Or you can, but like, you can't wear it the same way that you wear other highlighters because it would look like you just put a black pencil or black whatever on your cheek. I wore this for Halloween though and blended this in here and it looked amazing. And I've used it as an eyeshadow, it looks amazing. You could probably put it over like um, a black lipstick, it'd be amazing. Honestly, I think that Jeffrey made this just to say that he could make it and just to show people that like his brand means business, his brand means to try and be different and stand out from the crowd, which I like because that's what I do. And if I was going to have a makeup brand, this would be the kind of shit that I'd be making. So, you know, I respect it. I totally get it. I totally respect that he has done it because it, I mean, and it's caused so much fucking drama in the world. Like, you know, he knows what he's doing is all I'm gonna say. And to be honest, I I wish I had a friend that was like really dark skinned because I bet you it could look really nice on them. If you had someone that's like that perfect, like almost like like the super, super dark, dark skin, I honestly think it would look super good on someone like that. Or even if you had like medium to dark skin and you were doing like a super grungy, like dark, um, like punk rock makeup, I bet you could look bomb as fuck on that as well. Like, if you did it right, I can guarantee you it would be like... So I'm gonna put this on my face now. I don't have the brush I usually use because um, when I use this, it's just not... You can't use it the same way. <laughs> you have to kind of blend it out a lot more than you have to blend a regular highlighter. So, yeah, uh-huh. So I literally just took this and blended the shit out of it because obviously that's really the only way you're gonna make it kind of wearable. And like it doesn't go as much with the makeup that I'm wearing right now because the makeup I'm wearing it right now is a lot more like colorful and stuff. But if you took this highlighter and like I wore a really dark, 
um, again, a really dark, like smoky kind of makeup with it. I honestly think it could look super bomb. So there's it super blended out. Um, you can kind of see it here. But honestly, if you blend it out really well, I honestly don't think you can see the shimmer in it, but it doesn't look black. Like it, you know, it takes a little bit more effort than most highlighters because you do need to blend it in. But you know, such is life in my opinion. Um, yeah, so that's my review on that. I honestly think it's not that bad of a product. I really do enjoy it and I do not regret buying it at all. Next we have Deep Freeze, which is his blue highlighter. I wanted to get Lavender Snow, but it was sold out, so I got Deep Freeze instead. Uh, I also want to get Peach Goddess as well, and I might get King Tut and So Fucking Gold for my makeup kit, uh, for my professional makeup kit, because honestly those colors aren't going to look that good on me because I'm way too white. King Tut might not be so bad, but So Fucking Gold is a really dark gold from at least what I've seen in this watch, because I obviously do not own it. Um, but I've seen it in the swatches and stuff, so I just really think you'd be able to see it on my skin. They'd make gorgeous eyeshadows, but I don't want to spend, I don't want to buy them just for that because I have tons of gold eyeshadows. Um, but I do want to buy them and probably put them in my professional kit because if I'm ever doing someone's makeup that's got really deep skin, like gold highlighters look gorgeous on them. Like they're so pretty. So I might buy them at some point in the future for my professional kit. But yeah, this is Deep Freeze. Again, same packaging, same symbol, only if touched in the corner because I just don't like wrecking the label. I'll uh, put this one on my other cheek for you guys so you can see. This one again does require a decent amount of blending out um, for it to not seem entirely obvious. I wore this one to work and my coworker said that she liked my highlight because it reminded her of like a forest nymph. So, I mean, if you're ever going for a forest nymph look, this highlights, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty decent. <laughs> so there we go. Um, again, it's obviously blue, so it does clash with this makeup a tiny bit because my makeup's not blue. Simple as that. that I do really like Jeffree Star's products. I know there has been lots of drama around him, Kat Von D, and everyone fucking else in the entire goddamn world, but I really do like his products, and from the parts of him that I have seen, I genuinely think he's a decent human being. I know he's done a lot of things in the past, but we need to move forwards. I know what he did in the past was bad, but we need to move forwards. He doesn't do that stuff anymore. It's we need to move forwards, and stop dwelling on things that happened in the past because people do change. Like I said things to people when I was younger that I probably am not too happy about, but like it happens, we're young. It, like, you know, it happens, shit happens. We need to move forwards. And even if you don't wanna move forwards and ignore what he said in the past, that's fine. But you shouldn't judge his products simply because you don't like him. I get it if like, if his products sucked and he sucked, and you don't want to buy that, that's fine. But honestly, I've never had a problem with any of the products I've bought for him, like bought from his brand. So in my mind, it just doesn't make, like if you want the product, not buying it because you don't like him, just doesn't make any sense to me. It's just weird and it's just a waste. Like, I just, I don't get it. Uh, but yeah, that's my very quick review on the two new Jeffree Star highlighters. Leave me your guys' thoughts and comments below. If you're gonna hate on Jeffree Star, I honestly don't give a fuck. Don't bother, because I'm not gonna stop buying his products until he like actually does something in this time period. Because I just really enjoy his products and they're really good quality for the price range. So don't waste your breath or your typing ability. Because it's just, I'm, I'm not gonna care. I really just don't care that much. Um, but yeah, if you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.